section of Navi we get, because I don't have questions about Astralis. I don't have questions about their map pool. Like Tim said, I would take them on all three maps at this point. Uh, Navi have brought in a new player. And as was also brought up, he doesn't have tier one experience. And I think as Tim mentioned, he played Virtus Pro, didn't do well in that one game versus Virtus Pro. But I'm sure that they've had some scrim practice versus some top teams to at least get them to a point they feel confident. This is a huge risk for Na'Vi to bring them in during such a big event that's so stacked at the end of the year. So let's see what they have to offer. There is no silencer on this USP, and I don't know why. Hmm. But Simple uses it well enough to catch the headshot into Dupree. A four versus four is what we're left with. Bomb doubling back onto the short, and it's electronic inside of the pit. His USP does have a silencer, and he also has a kill. Can he double up? Seems not. Magis going to shut that one down. Bomb plant comes through. There is a chance at this mid wraparound. That is bit with a little bit of utility. His frag grenade will miss the mark. His smoke. Ooh. He's amazing. Ooh, oh. welcome to the big leagues. Nice 3v3 ball. versus Astralis, and he gets two of the kills. Boomich going to find that last one. Navi winning pistol. He's the real deal, boys. He's the real deal. Yep, that's right. It's bit. He's back. He's back. Well, he's here. He's here. We, we, I would love to, I would love to know what their practices look like, you know, how much promise there was. I'm sure there's a world where he, you know, uh, the practice doesn't go well. They just keep flaming in for the matches. So I'm sure they have some good confidence in him. Of course, just a pistol round here. Almost pulls out the 3K, but has significant impact nonetheless. Navi pulled out the pistol round, and now we're cooking. We're not cooking with gas just yet. No, we've got uh, we've got a nice little open fire. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh, we're still heating up. Tack pause off of the pistol loss. Um, Let's them crunch the numbers. It's like an Ast Astralis classic. Call a pause after the pistol. Talk things over. See what they can pull out on the eco round or on the force up. A lot of things can work. They'll have to read. I mean, I, I don't know what they're going to read into the setup. You know, like uh, uh, where we're going to see we're going to see things. You know, do does any do any positions change um, here on CT side? Or are things going to stay the same? We go over to Nuke. That'll be interesting as well. I guess, you know, Bit's going to pick up Ramp there. Right now, we've got the Boomich and Trio stacking up. Nade on to one of the couple of riflers here on the rounds. And over the top of the smoke, there is an opponent. But a Molotov will shoot the Vice back, and he'll hand over... The AK, because he's a little bit low on HP. Some late grenades. As Na Navi are intent on fighting for the top of Banana. Which we have learned is something you should do versus Astralis. For any versus anybody. Versus anybody, really. It's just something people are not doing enough. But get, we, Navi, sometimes they do like to play a little bit tight. Play back. They just give up after a certain amount of time. I think this leaves the top of Banana... Very appealing to Astralis sure. late into the round. I think it's easy for Navi to just rely on the absolute powerhouse. They try to. That they do have in this firepower roster, of course. Electronic, always good for a couple. Simple, good for a couple. Normally, we look to Flamey as well for multi-kills, but he's not a part of this equation. Yeah. Bit's last match on record, he had 42 kills and one OT. Holy moly. Of course, it wasn't versus, uh, like, I don't even know who this is. Their name is Lil Mix. A, versus a bunch of Swedish players. Quix is on there, actually. Lil Mix. Must be a rapper. Lil Pimp. We got Glaive on the forefront. Electronics gonna get burned out. And that's a nice little pick from Bit, but simple. Nice trip quad! Oh. Quad kill on the hay bales! Sick. Guns them all down. With the Farmus. One mag. What Look at this. this. Little flick, too. Oh! <laughs> now, there were Sir Gums and there were some gums. What on earth? <laughs> <laughs> your, your dentures fall out? There were some gums. <laughs> oh my god. Everything cool, man? Yeah. Let me take, let me try that again. There Sir were Strumming. some guns on the play. Yeah, a couple of AKs. 
Obviously, not everything Astralis was hoping for to peek into a Farmus, but still, that's just nice. It's just great Farmus gameplay. The Farmus... <laughs> Why are you talking like that? ...is not that bad. <laughs> I sound like an American radio announcer. You're French! I'm trying to make sure... Face it. ...that my dentures don't fall out again. <laughs> sure goes. Where will this eco take us? What a... What an incredible hold, honestly, from Mr. Simple. Sample when he misses, simple when he hits. Also known as God. I thought he played for North. God? <laughs> that took me a second. Oh, oh that is baby. that is thick. Oh, baby. Three Cs. That's one way to get your ADR up, all the way up. We'll see if they can get all the way out. Oh, Bit's gonna feel so good after this. Yeah, this is a feels-good moment if he can rack him up with that MP9, but he goes down empty-handed. It's simple with the multi-kill. And then Electronic over from the pit, finding himself one as well. A little peek back out, double kill, and Simple is gonna find that third one. So, sure enough, Navi 3-0 start. This would be a um, outstanding win, of course. We just, just to go over again quickly, Astralis on uh, Inferno. They got a 16-3 loss last time they played against Mouse, but outside of that, we're 12-1 and in their last 13 games on Inferno. So outstanding and a re very reasonable map pick. It's of course a map that Navi will have, well, play they play all the time. As, as what happens with Vito's, it's just not a map that often gets banned. Um, but usually ends up being a decider, not so much an opening pick. But Astralis have just gotten so good on it, provably, that it makes sense. So, we've got some late grenades again towards B. It's all a big feign. And and you know what? Astralis, it's like once you get top banana control, you can go back and pick A, pick V, whatever. You know it's a 2-3 setup. That's the thing. Or it's some kind of gamble read. That's the scary part. But last round, they kind of did go into the correct location. Boomish will get caught off. And Magisk will come through. There's the player spotted at quad, which is a problem for him. And he'll try to delay. Magisk going to slide around. Able to topple that one. That was a little too easy. B site completely clear for the taking. So we've got Astralis on the scoreboard because Navi will concede this. That was very easy. Uh, yeah. So, of course, I mean, Majiska is maybe one of the best B entries. Like, he, like, just specifically at this one thing, this niche skill set, coming into the B site, he is so good at finding double entries. Uh, this round was, of course, no exception. But all that took was one flash over, just basically, you know, a god flash from long, and then he's just right here. Catches Boomich on the corner. And I'm not sure Boomich has moved forward to the point that he can't escape easily. And I wonder if that was because he was thinking about going for the re-aggression. That would make sense. So Astralis maybe have, would have caught up timing there. But uh, there was no rotation uh, soon enough to help with flashes. You know, Perfecto was really left on his own. Poor guy. Easy rebuy, of course, so Navi should not be too worried just yet. Always scary to rebuy when you don't have the money for the nades, but they do. They're just going to take a little small concession with Bit Off on his out. on his Falmus, but he saved that over from the last round, actually, so he's, they're totally fine here. What will be the play now? As you mentioned, simple on the AWP. Up in a rotator position, Astralis will immediately pounce on halls and fly through mid, my god. Yeah, Glaive making no waste of time. Flashback oh. from Zipex. This is going to challenge the uh, A site. Glaive eats the grenade. Electronic just down beneath them. Fully flashed, falls back, has simple. And sure enough, they are good for one kill apiece. Simple has to just now walk back a little bit concede that bomb site for the plant. Astralis have got what they wanted. An opening into the A site and a player down. But now, it's an uncomfortable post plant. They are all back in pit. All three of them. Double Molotov to try and keep Navi at bay. But will they come from Arch? That's one of the questions. Perfecto, he is still smoked out for the moment, laying down a grenade of his own. Heavy presence from Navi inside of the apartments. Two players coming in this direction, leaving Simples off to try and shave one off as he holds down the line through short. Magisk, nice double kill onto the balcony. 
And with that, these CTs turn back. Magisk winning the round by spraying down those two players who attempted to come off of the flashbang. It is Astralis's second. Oh, that's really tough. Of course, that's why pick control is so good, uh, whether you're CT or T side. And the hold was decent, man. They got the two for one trade. Even though they don't have everybody there to rotate, they're in a pretty good spot. But we see he uses the same smoke that he would use on CT side here to defend and shoot over top of it. He even gets the smoke assist, as you can see in the icons, versus Bit, who comes out of halls. And as you mentioned, there's just not much hope from that point on. So really relying on those kills. Uh, that is a pretty rough situation. Couldn't really be better set up for that retake position. And, oh, should we be going to, or um, should we take off? No, I think we could stick around. Okay. It's just uh, Perfecto quickly changing internet lines. Oh, okay. So, no real issue. Well, you know what? At he least he two. can. Yep, exactly. Kerrigan. That is a professional. Professional gamers. That's cool. E-sportsmen. You are no longer e-gamers. What was this? What was this? What was the speech? Your days of explaining are over. Is that it? I can't remember the last part. <laughs> of course, I... That's the old Prime Minister of Denmark? Yes. President King? Imitation, the finest form of flattery. Mm. It was very cool. Very modern. Very modern. <laughs> like monarchies. <laughs> What's that reference to? Nick Kroll? Yeah. Everybody go watch the Spotted Ox Hostel. It's the coolest hostel in all of Europe. <laughs> Why? Uh, they have bowls of heavy cream for breakfast, one or two sausages. Sausages, huh? The USP unsilenced from Simple. What do you make of that? That was interesting. I saw it off in the warm-up, like while we were wet ready, getting ready. Yep. And uh, I thought to myself, I hope he remembers to put it back on. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think he did. I don't think you, like, the stat. it's funny because the stats do change. And I think the one buff you get is that your jumping accuracy goes up a little bit. Or down, however, it goes That's up. a weird thing. Yeah. Positively. Yeah. Something strange like that. But, of course, maybe you strike fear into the hearts of your opponents with a little bit extra noise. You could. And, of course, you can play certain positions where the barrel's not sticking out. Um, on the archway is not one of them. But, you know... Who, who are we to judge simple? That noggin of his. I judge not. Yeah. I just wanted to know why he did it so yeah. that I could justify doing it in my next game. Maybe Forrest is his favorite player. Forrest. Big proponent of the non-silenced USP. There, there's the tilt factor. What is the what is the what does USP stand for? Ooh, here's trivia. Hmm. What does USP stand for? Well, the dash S definitely stands silence. for silence. Yeah. Um I'd assume. The USP no, stands no for Ultimate Super Pistol. Okay, I didn't expect that. I don't think that's true. That's probably not true. Ultimate Super Pistol Silenced. Very unlikely. That would mark, you know, I guess you can go look it up. No, no time. Oh, they got one Ultimate Super Pistol this round on bit. Electronics upgraded. Simple. He does a lap through the halls. Runs oh. back into the site, yes. Universal self-loading pistol. Self-loading? I thought you needed somebody to load it. Well. Apparently not. Nobody yeah. lies on the internet. The animations are a lie, apparently. Okay, Arch has been kind of cracked open. I, do you see the pace from Astral is actually pretty fast here on Inferno? I think they're surprising Navi in some of their setups. The fast mid-control. This is a, a weakness identified. Fast bracket control, instant stack from uh, from Navi. Never change Navi. Just go right into the stack. <laughs> they like gambling. Yeah, they brought Bit into the server versus Astralis. True. We'll see. I mean, he's yeah. So far, so good. That one's hitting big, kind of. So yeah. far, let's see what happens with it. The rest of this game. They almost got three lemons on the slot machine here. Smoke grenade over the top of the A site. Bomb over on banana. Very indicative of a Jesus. B split through CT spawn. I hate, they have no information. <laughs> they have no information, but they've got three on B. Yep. 
Take some damage here, and now they can maybe see the B-Split coming potentially. Simple's moved on to the coffin with that AWP. We've got the USP player in Boomich trying to peek back around construction. He goes down first. Simple will find one kill. Perfecto another. Ooh. And even though Perfecto just got burnt to a crisp, <laughs> it's Device to get the better angle onto Simple. And a bomb plant comes from it. Now, obviously not working with much. The remaining members of Na'Vi really relying on that 5-7, but Electronic, he's going to get his hands on an AK, catches Device in the open, and a wide peek shut down by Bit. Yo, shout out to Bit. The two USB headshots on Zipix, you know he would have gotten away and made it, made a meal of it. But instead, they come through with the 2v2. Device goes for the early shot, can't fall back. Nice punish from Na'Vi, and a great couple of kills from Simple. Although he got traded out, right? This is uh, pretty sick. Look at this one. Ooh, like a lightning bolt. Love how that crosshair shakes after he's done. Devices trade, you think, okay. Big advantage to the T's in the post plant, especially with the op. What was Bit working with that he only had the USP out at the end? It's all. It's all he had. Oh, that was just it? I yep. see. There was two yeah, pistols in the play. The ultimate super pistol, for real. Oh. <laughs> 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 I forgot that was a bit. Uh, Magisk, mollied off of the forefront of Banana, Boomich over behind the sandbags. Where's that flashbang? Magisk gonna just walk around it dry, dies. And perfect timing on that follow-up molly. Leaves Boomich a little chance to recover here, see if he can retreat. Get out of my way. And he is safely back into the bomb site. So, Navi, five versus four man advantage. Very similar setup to the last round from Navi. Very different from Astralis at the minute mark as they have no presence towards A, but now we start to watch them scour back. Oh, we're going all the way back through spawn. Okay, they come to try to clear things out. And a smoke comes down on lane. So I think they read into this as a similar setup from the last round and are trying to take advantage of the fact that maybe there's not going to be anyone on Arch, but the rotations are starting to come in how will they approach the A site? 45 seconds, you know they're nearing a decision at this point. Bit just commits. Tucks into the corner here. So 35 seconds, finds timing. And it's a little labored, but he gets there. And he still has plenty of health. They don't have a solution to get him out of here. And that frag grenade was on point. Device gonna get that kill versus Bit, but simple and electronic from the site itself. Ooh, the Yop is on point. Off scope adjustment from Simple. He's playing great today. Absolutely fantastic. That is some good stuff on this hold. Nicely done from Bit. Boomich and the Sandbags. Name name a more iconic duo. That's his favorite spot to be. As you mentioned, a labor trade, but he gets it in the end. And all the pieces are coming together nice enough for Simple to just get his two kills and for that to be impactful enough. Yep. Couple kills, close the round. Yeah. Well. Nothing incredibly flashy, but still just a nice clean adjustment. And because he doesn't mind taking that risk. A chance taken by Astralis to run to the top of Banana, and they lose Dupree, poor guy. Still going to send his teammates with their MAC-10s back over to that A site. Early presence is enough to keep Navi with three players on B for now. This has been a tendency. Sometimes we get a CT pushed up on brackets, but... For now, it's just very much a stale hold on the site. They're working with the better weapons. And this heavy presence by Balcony Door, Electronic. Again, good for the multi-kills. Should be able to shut them down. He gets blinded. Wild spray. Magus catching his head. Bit can't hit. You know what? <laughs> and Astralis find an A site. Well, I the flash was one thing just sets off that spray immediately just to try to get the kills but the peak is a little bit delayed and then they both just get caught with their pants down another awkward situation for navi coming in on the retake one gun has been recovered and i guess zipix has picked up a mac 10 for what it's worth but um there's a i guess a chance that this retake is still possible though the bomb is halfway ticked and the cts are now thinking about other options one kill in halls Boomich wishes he got that one a little bit earlier. Everybody else will fall back, and Astralis will pick one up. Uh, understaffed A site. Should have been fine because of the guns that they saw that they were fighting, but no contributions 
from the two players that were there. Yeah, Magis what, right here. What else can you say fall? about Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Teleports him back up into the gunfight. Device then just double deagling. This is uh, two sprays now we've seen from Bit get, get a little uh, elongated. Yeah. First time towards short, picked up the kill because it was only a single opponent. This time he's standing in the open versus like three. Doesn't decide to jiggle peek it. Just no, you're right. Goes for that frag. And, hey, uh, poor guy's probably a little, little nervous. A little nervous. You're allowed to be nervous. Yeah. You're no, kind of you're, playing you're, a strawless. Yeah, you're, you're right, though. He, he definitely he's working hard for those sprays. That sucks. But, I mean, electronic, he really just... He let that thing rip like no one was around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He was in the elevator alone. Just let it rip. And the doors opened and there's four people there. And then he just blamed it on someone else. Falls down into the pit dead. Five rounds for Navi. That's Astralis' third. 13 and 2 at the moment is simple. Top fragging for Astralis is oh. Magisk, 7 and 5. Simple's doing awesome right now. That he is. He's looking sharp. As he does. And it's the style of it, you know, the way he kills people with the flick that keeps, like, shaking after, you know? Yeah, it's confident. Like he's got a cane in the other hand. Ugh. Okay. Boomich and uh, Sandbags name a more iconic duo. You and that line. See if he can melt them like a cheese stick in the microwave here. They're gonna walk two through. Flash goes big, Boomich goes down, and then he's killed. Does a little whack-a-mole popsy doodle. Perfecto commitment on the spray is good for the double kill. Magisk, however, then gonna trade that one out, but still Perfecto doing enough to keep this at the even 3v3. Bit wastes no time getting X to the coffins. Oh, but he runs. Oh, he even takes Zipix with him. Not bad. Not That's bad a at crucial all. kill. Because, you know, Simple will take the chance here. It's simple and electronic. Peanut butter and jelly. And T's gelling in the back of the site. Magisk hiding behind the new box. He's being given room, Simple. Oh, he's walked up so far. Yeah. Again. Ooh. Turn around. <gasps> what? Oh. He's okay. going to recover. Dupree hard. back over on Banana, skims through the side of the smoke. He's got two kills in this round, finally on the scoreboard. And the flash goes high to Blind Simple, shots through. Dupree doing a very good job of just diving back into the cover, playing with Simple. Makes him look like a fool. And Astralis will take that fourth round. Well, that's very well done from Dupree. Holds his nerve, plays it perfectly with his utility, his peaks, everything. <laughs> Funny that uh, Simple missed this shot, but... <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Boomich steps on a landmine, goes straight up into the air like it's a Looney Tunes cartoon. This shot. Oh! Can, can we slow that down? That's pretty funny. No, I that guy was it. on slim fast. No yeah, way he right? was going to get hit. Sucked it in. Stinking skinny. Okay, what? Give him that a little bit. Yeah, I don't know about that one. He just blows his clothes off at least. At least he recovered. <laughs> blows his clothes off. <laughs> Naked and afraid. Oh. Nice shot. Glaive's going to get tagged as he tries to jump across from T-Ramp. We do have limitations here for Navi. The economy no longer supporting all their needs. Oh. And poor Boomich, who's already only working with the SMG, eats a frag grenade to start. Dude, name a more iconic duo, Boomich and the Sandbags. Can't find this guy anywhere else. Eventually, they'll assume he can't do it X amount of times in a row. No, they played Navi too many times. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Very quiet round coming out of Astralis. Still tons of utility for them. To say the same about Navi would be a lie. Bit's got the incendiary double flash, a smoke for Perfecto, who is just hiding behind the woodwork. Boomich gonna eat that flash, and Perfecto, good for the double. But it's Magisk in with the team kill, and then the trade frag on to Boomich. So man advantage for Astralis, made possible by Magisk, who wastes no time wrapping back into construction. I like this. Really looks to play proactive. Yeah. Does not want Navi knocking on the edge of this bomb site. And maybe Bit makes a mistake. He doesn't fully clear it. He had just looked away, and the fire at the feet of Simple, not gonna be an issue. Zipix chucks his Molotov deep, 
Then Simple throws one back the other direction, and Zipex is already evacuated closer towards the coffins. They challenge through smoke. Simple now low. Time beyond the corner point, but still the CT succeed in finding that final kill and finding their sixth round. Oh, he desperately wanted that one frag before he went to fall back. It would have been too late if they just tapped the bomb and had someone swing off of it. He still could have potentially won because Simple was so low. But here's that setup and the unfortunate trade situation. But Magisk, he almost has to do that damage to even get the first kill. So potentially he picks the lesser of two evils and finds that frag. Very nicely done from Simple to just call Magisk out. And he stays alive, comes through at the end, uses himself as bait. Nicely played in the retake. They had to get very creative to pull that one out, but they pull it out nonetheless. I think the game, it's not perfect CS here from um, from Nobby or from Astralis starting today out, but it's pretty entertaining. I'm liking what we're seeing for sure. Yeah, I'm all aboard. And I'm certainly not bored. Not at all. Simple as 16 and two, he's having a good day. Holy hell, we're only 10 rounds in. Starting number 11. A walk back from the apartments. No contest over on Banana. No boomage on the sandbags. That no can't be right. On the sandbags. We have to start this round over again. He's actually boosted up on the half wall instead, so constantly climbing something. Wow, that's a nice timing on that one. Right when that smoke comes down. Very well done with the damage. Device gonna be a, t a tad salt, a tad salty about that. This execute will come in. Boomich has flashed up on oh the boost, God. but he's not clear. He still hasn't at all. Glaive They're never turned around. He wanted that player in the backside, and Boomich. He'll have a field day with that decision. Now Perfecto from New Box. Easy does it. He sits in position, simple, anticipates a cross, and eventually we're going to see Astralis attempt this, but it's an okay. easy close for Navi. That was like putting a Tide Pod in the dishwasher, okay? Yeah. It works, but it's not supposed to. Right. Boomich up there, full blind, no reaction. Watch Glaive in the fountain. He's just running through. I mean, the fact that, first of all, Glaive gets all the way to quad, Boomich doesn't even tell his teammate he's coming, nor shoots him, and Glaive doesn't turn around. I think that sums this game up quite nicely. Gentleman's agreement. That's a real not-my-problem type situation. Not my job, says Boomich. I hold cross. Deagle shots landing into Boomich, but he answers with a headshot. Down goes Magisk in this pistols only round from Astralis. No armor, no utility. And one of their two desert eagles already hit the dirt. Did I say Tide Pod in the microwave or dishwasher? You said dishwasher. Okay, good. Yep. Because if it was in the microwave, it I mean, really would have I mean, that's the great thing work. about Tide Pods. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you cook them, <laughs> they still taste great. <laughs> Very versatile, like simple. Wherever you need them to be this game. Nice angle from Boomich. Passive back by Coffins. Lines up the headshot into Glaive. Really making easy work of Astralis on this very limited buy. Let's check the scoreboard. How's that going? Let's get an update on the scoreboard. Simple. 17 and 2 with Anybody Boomich want to shine 10 and 5. Spotlight on? In a negative or positive light? The blue light, the spotlight, whatever you want. The X-ray. Well, we've got Glaive and Dupree at two kills each. Oh my god. Magisk at 10 for Astralis on the other side of the scoreboard. Dupree's got a Deeg, and it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. Navi, excellent CT side coming out now, doubling the round count of Astralis, who are still struggling to piece together a buy. Even this one would have limitations if they invest. It's been a very slow start today for Astralis. Very strange, you know, like, coming so hot off the last tournament, didn't expect this whatsoever. Maybe some questions starting to arise about their confidence and comfortability on Inferno. But of course, since they picked it, you'd think that wouldn't be the case. They know they're going up against a, a team who's competent on the map, who they could pick other things versus. But going into Nuke next, 
it means both both teams will be very comfortable once again. But this isn't, doesn't seem like a map-specific issue. I wonder what's going to happen in the second half. Because at the moment, Simple is just farming. The Scarecrows are out. Check them stats. The Straw Hat is on. On the cusp of 180R, Simple. He's hailing Bay. Bailing hay. Bailing hay. It for a second, sounded like you knew what you were talking about. He's waving down Bay. Man's never harvested a crop in his life. Some great bit of damage here towards Bit at the top of Banana. Oh, blocked it. Boomich making a better wall than a window. Glaive will go ahead and... I mean, Boomich is here to fight, but he, he gets flashed off. Boomich loves a, a good banana fight, huh? It's good, man. I, I think it's necessary. It's something you don't always win, but I think it's very important to, some of the time at least, try to challenge... But yeah, he does, yeah, he stands out, he stands out there, way out there. But now he'll fall back. There's a heavier lean from Navi towards A. And Perfecto's close enough in the speedway, he's not fully committed to the site. And Astralis will now just make a decision here. There's two up in the hallways. There's no one in pit, which for me, I would be, you know, pretty happy if, to see that if I was a T. Coming into the site, and we know what Astralis can do with pit control from the T side. But that doesn't mean the setup is totally flawed. It just depends when this moto smoke comes down, because of course Simple's on the other side of it. Simple. Whoa. Tracing Magisk down into the pit. Zipix dropped to 37 health. Electronic finds nothing inside of it. And poor Simple's taken down to 22. Astrala strong arming their way out from apartments into the pit with just 10 seconds to spare on this one. Nice and meticulous round coming out of the Danes. And it's convinced Navi to save. So in the end, it looks a bit boring, but they got the job done. It all hinged on that pit play. An electronic inside of the bomb site was unable to deliver. Simple only getting the one. Poor bit bullied back in pit. Yeah. I'm sure they didn't know that halls or that pit was completely vacant, but it's a nice place to go uh, if you're coming out of halls. And um, it's really good versus a setup like that, of course. You think if uh, Simple could get a kill that was that difficult, his teammates could have helped out with one or two of their own, but that's what it came down to. Not being able to stop the exec having three players on the A, on the A, on a side, excuse me. So. Astralis will take that one. We're nearing the end of the half here. Two more rounds to go. Astralis is starting to get back into things. I don't think that this will precipitate a win in either direction. We'll see about the second half. Agreed. These teams just have too much history at this point to really talk about, you know, how sided a map is or... Honestly, maybe even head-to-head -head might not come into uh, come into play quite as much. We have to see how Bit will fit into the T side of Na'Vi. That'll be fun to watch. So far, it's been a little bit hit or miss here in the first half. But not bad, not bad at all. That is a barbecue and a half. Oh my goodness, a bombardment of utility. Boomich, he is still back here, of course, with Perfecto's Flash. Good for the first one. And then, Glaive trades. No additional challenge coming out of Navi, despite having two more CTs on this B site. Simple sits back on cross. And Astralis, they walk away. Either site right for the picking. No top banana, no mid control here. T's four to four. They're going to be happy about this. Low in HP on Glaive. So Electronic might have a mow down on his hands. He's deep in moto, which is a nice deep angle to work with. Not able to fall back, but it's very nice for the one kill. So we'll see what this means for Bit now. Oh, All eyes on him. Oh, again. Oof. Yeah, a little bit the struggle with the spray again. Yeah, you're right. We'll call it nerves. We'll see what happens there on uh, the next half. But it's uh, simple and perfecto in a very unlikely situation here. We've got a little bit of money still behind them, so they could... Nah, not with that smoke now. Yeah, that smoke really puts them in a pickle. Bomb at the halfway point. They go ahead and call it off. So another gentleman's agreement to just let that round slip onto the scoreboard for Astralis. They are having themselves a nice little recovery here. Two rounds in a row with a potential third. They have not been able to win three T rounds in a row yet this half. Yeah. 
The two A-hole. at a time. Two at a time. Yeah. The A side holds have been quite weak so far this game from Navi. Everything else is actually going pretty well, and Simple's being the superstar that they need. So, despite Navi's flaws, I think at some point in this game, uh, bet between uh, Boomich going at least one for one from from that sandbags area most of the time, and Simple getting his two or three kills, they still managed to put together a very very decent half. So now that we come into the last round of half number one, Device will pick up an AWP. He'll go toe to toe with Simple, maybe. Look at that skeleton knife, Connor. Oh, it's so blue. It's got me feeling a certain way. And simple. Well, starts to shy off of middle. Boomich able to, again, take that fight at Banana. He is the consistent first man in. He's just ready to rock and roll. He's 12 and 6, the second player behind simple. Trying to play catch up, but it's tough when you're chasing Simple's stats. Electronic committed to the porch. Definitely just heard Dupree take that step inside of Boiler. But Dupree is alone on this A site. It's really the B bomb site that's in question. A good amount of noise being made by Astralis really all over the map. So Navi can't quite suss anything out. Not without taking a risk. And there's nowhere to do so. Dupree back in apartments. Watches mid push. Nothing. Astralis grouping up outside of B. We got Boomich boosted on the wall again. Last time, this worked wonderfully for him. Nobody even checked his position. However, Perfecto was over on New Box. This time, he's still kind of floating around inside of construction, very much leaving Boomich to go big or go down. 30 seconds. Single smoke, single flash. That's what Astralis have to commit with. Glaive could just attempt to slide out, but they will throw that smoke with it. Boomich tries to tuck his head, and he gets hard checked. Astralis find that open B site for a plant, but we've got Navi nearby, and of course with nothing to lose. This is the final round of the first 15. Astralis in the post plant. No utility, as said. And the counter terrorists still with flashbangs, which means they're going to take these gunfights on their own accord. It'll be their decision. And Perfecto, he's first at bat. Goes down, traded by Bit, and it's Zipix and Dupree back onto the kill feed. Electronic needing the one versus three. And he's got himself just the first one. Astralis stabilizing at the end of this T side with three rounds in a row. Yeah. I think that was a... It wasn't an incredibly... It was a, not an incredible... Like half from Navi, but it was really Astralis were like beating themselves a little bit. Some awkward moments. But I'm not surprised they crawled back into it. Now let's see what sure. the CT side can offer. I think Navi actually power up a bit here on T side. Vice. Ooh, very nice. USP headshots looking real good. Yeah, there's a bunch Weird of little alerts. Bermuda triangle going on there. Look at this. They turn their backs to bit. He only gets the first shot. Oh, electronic instant execution. But that bomb, it's still stuck back in T spawn. He's still, look at the vice. He's actually still peeking. He's walking up mid. Electronic, who wins? Electronic's got the patience. What a strange round. This is um, a round beyond yeah. strategy here. Look at where everybody's died on this colorful mini-map, looking like Christmas lights. Yeah, we are down. all around. We are in the dungeons of Counter-Strike. Now he's just, he's actually running towards B to see if it's a B hit. It's actually a Hulls hit here with the bomb. Boomich really taking his time. Glaive's going to start to come back. I mean, no player knows where the other one is. There's just not enough information <laughs> here. Literally every position could be occupied in both Boomich and Glaive's mind. It's one of the spots where you could plant and then Glaive would like listen to see if you're even there or not. Oh my god, he's actually coming all the way back. Starting to figure out the situation though. Boomich, gonna, I like this. Block off the possibility of a short peek, but it's through the smoke. Glaive. Glaive, he's going to walk right through and boom it. Did he see him? Yeah, he did. There we go. There's that contact. Glaive, he's going to stick the side of this. Oh, and once he sees him, he Clap. deals with it. Boomich, headshot to close. Navi taking second pistol. Well, well, well done there on the uh, on the shot. I don't know where the kit was, if there was one in this round, but Glaive didn't have it. A nice couple of kills from Device. See the confidence from them just kind of like roaming around, not clearing things out. One of the weirdest pistol rounds I've ever seen in my see whole many, life. See how many players died with their like heads turned? Nobody knew where anyone was. Everybody just caught off guard by peaks. 
It's okay, Dupree. That one, that round was beyond strategy. Yep, doesn't count. Entirely. Forget about it. Move along. Quad Desert Eagles, single 5-7. Nice collection of smoke grenades, but one of them is already eliminated without having ever been thrown. Free utility on arch side. Free space for Simple, who is now 19 and four, may I add. Just dived back away from what was the library peak. A couple of smoke grenades really icing out the CTs. Zipex creates space artificially and tucks into the moto. What are the CTs getting ready to do from these spots? Let's see. The smoke to help them escape. They'll start to come in. And the press up on the A side is here. So much noise has been made here by the T's and Dupree. Interesting. Gets a very interesting kill, yeah. Another back turn. Yeah. Zipix can't quite ice out Boomit. She's still sitting at about 40 HP, bombed to the back of the site. Surely they're still fine, right? Yeah, yeah you'd think. They are very much surrounded, but Electronic already starting to alleviate a bit of the headache. Look at this, Astralis, they're going to walk away. They've gathered a Galil, and they still have a couple sets of armored pistols. So gonna... they concede the 10th round to Navi. There was definitely a chance there for Astralis. They're going to peel back easier than an orange in the shower. Facts. Facts. Yeah, actually, the trick to peeling oranges is to roll them in your hands. Mm. You squeeze them, you roll them around. It separates the, the, the skin from the orange. Yep. Then you peel that bad boy. What would you call the center part? if not just orange. The flesh. Yikes. It's the flesh of the orange. The skin in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer am hungry yeah. for oranges after yeah, this conversation. Uh, no, never mind. I think that's the right word, though. There's someone who knows out there what you would call that. Yeah. I mean, I guess it would just be the meat. Three rounds here to catch up for Astralis. They'll keep a Galil to move that forward. That's something. Device with the universal self-loading pistol and a Zeus. You're not going to start calling it, oh Jesus. No, I won't. Uh, that's a very nice shot here by Zipex. From the top of Banana, they use the totem pole stack. It is called that, by the way, because you do not have to load each bullet individually between shots. Oh. Like you would a revolver by pulling back the hammer. Thank you for the message, Leonard. There we go. Okay. What's weaker here? And on this episode of What's Weaker when it comes to Inferno on T side, well, both sides are kind of evenly stacked. Well, there's a third CT coming over towards B. And Boomich, he's, he's selling the fake 100%, but he's also got to go get the bomb. He's on bomb duty. So, it's enough, right? That's all, that's all. That's enough. We get Glaive moving back into Arch side. Remember, that's an armored 5-7, so definitely one of the players that could take a head off. Electronic just moving in the open here, really flowing on Arch side. Enough so that the 5-7 oh. can't get the best of him. The Zeus is ready. Oh, bit. Welcome to the big leagues. Device. Imagine getting Zeus in your first official. Electrocutes him. It was a nice flick, though. Shocking scenes inside of the apartment. And now Device, he's going to serve as a real nuisance because obviously Navi, they know he's up here and they're all on high alert, but it's going to prime the other counter-terrorists to come in for the retake. Can they get this going as Device lays down lead? He has Boomich locked in this position and the frag grenade is on the money, but then Boomich peeks back out and Device is able to find one, but he's the only player other than Zipix on the original kill that gets himself anything whatsoever. Navi, they serve survive yet again. It's tested, don't get me wrong. But they move away with two AKs and an 11th round on the board. Simple has crossed the 20 kill mark. Oh, he won't escape. Things start to heat up and device, yeah, he won't be able to carry the AK forward. A nice find here for Electronic. This nice was boost, barely saw him. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Ah! <laughs> that was pretty good. Now slow down yours. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Sounded like a party horn. The human jukebox. 
Uh, okay. The Vice AWP, where does he go? Here's the question. Oh, wow, wasting no time. Yeah, they've got the cross mollies here. One for the op on the corner, one for sandbags. They're clearing it out in its totality. They see it doesn't get smoked. Perfecto gets that info, and they punish the re-aggression. That's some very nice utility usage here from Navi. Boomich likes this gap. Makes it far easier to work around. He's making sure nobody's on his position. Zipix boosted, Glaive low, quarter HP, crosses back with that utility. Could be crucial. Zipix only has the flashbang, so Glaive definitely needs to keep that incendiary and smoke safe in his back pocket. Execute starts to trickle in. Boomich gonna be the front runner. Glaive, perfect. Right through that smoke. Now Zipix, it's his turn at bat, but he falls back, and Glaive's gonna find another one. He's not alone any longer. Dupree has moved over. It's simple and bit in the two versus four. Spam through smoke, so close, but not on the mark. And now we've got Navi in the post plant. Oh, that frag grenade almost enough to take Bit down. He's got 14 health now. You'd think he'd use himself to set up Simple, who is hanging on to a Molotov. Flash goes over top. Bit can't see anything, but once he regains vision, he's good for the single kill. It's Simple in the backside, looking for his 23rd kill, and it's an instant headshot with Dupree up close. He almost gets them all. But Magisk, he's gonna jump on oh, bomb. This is close, man. And time, time is of the essence. Comes down incredibly close, but he's got it. Yeah. Wow, he'll lock it up. That's a very nice attempt from Simple. You love to see that. He was set up well. He got the two kills. You think there was a chance there for the third, but the instant trade was beautiful. Glaive does a lot for having such low HP. He got punished very early on with the two HEs that came his way. Uh, and then ended up getting another kill as well. So overall, I mean, it's just a nice crossfire. Zipix up where you'd normally find him there on the second oranges from within the site. And it was an uncomfortable spot for, for Astralis. They're playing without much information. They got punished on the re-aggression. Navi were set up in prime to uh, take that site. So I think I, I would say I would call that a very good recovery for sure. Once again, they're sending Perfecto up as a mercenary to just get that info. Is anybody playing up here right now? That's the question they want answered. Really far back and relaxed Astralis on the A site. You got Dupree, or excuse me, device floating around Arch, but no eyes near mid. Apartment's completely given over. Yeah, not exactly like them normally, but. We'll look for these in-between timings to try to get information. But low on information, so it'll be hard to make that read. Could be a slave of the rotations if we're not careful. Arch has opened up. This is a good situation for Navi. Electronic, he's got clear lines here into the spawn. Perfecto's not going to respect this utility. Tries to oh, there's a player right in front. Oh my god. Perfecto kills the man and then takes his MP9 and rides it into Zipex's head. Bit's gonna get that bomb plant yet again. And Simple, a deep position over towards Tree, which is actually gonna be crucial because Astralis, it's an all-in retake from Banana. Now they could use that last smoke to block off CT spawn, and suddenly we're gonna have two Ts scrambling back through construction or having to find timing to challenge through this blind. And Simple, well, that's exactly what he's gonna do. Device gives cover, Glaive kills close, Perfecto with two CTs can't handle the heat, and Astralis find their nine. Ooh, and they'll just have barely enough time to defuse off of this. This is a very close call. I'm surprised that they're even able to win it. It seemed like Navi were in a prime position to win that. A good attempt, but uh, Astralis, they'll pull off the retake. This is uh, something of a swing round, isn't it? Do we have much money here for Navi? They've got, oh, it's got an awkward amount of money. They can't afford the op. We don't know if they want one. And uh, they've only got enough for three rifles outside of that. So we'll see what happens, but. Good composure in the retake. It was such a strange situation with the Dupree jumping in front of Perfecto. I also didn't realize that that was an opponent uh, until you mentioned it. Oh, yeah, that one counter I was kind of like, bit. wow, why isn't that guy doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> why is this guy looking the wrong direction? Like shooting back down Banana. What's he doing? I love how Perfecto is just like not dealing with, you know, it's like, it's like, his, it's like his pants are on fire. Uh -huh. He's like, well, I've got a job to do first. Right. And then realizes that if he just crouches, it's an easy pickup. 
a very weird thing to yeah. happen. But uh, hey, that that was that was around though that uh, that Astralis did play with very low information, and then they that it got used against them. They with the R trap from Ele Electronic though. So okay, utility damage high here for Boomich B player. Electronic way up there as well. But a um, bit more powerful, a better situation, I'd say, for Astralis now. We've got the full kits. The only concession is this UMP on Glaive. Apart from that, they're at pretty much full strength, so they're going a bit more aggressive early on into Banana. The op is not playing on the B site, but so we'll, we'll see maybe a different take on how to protect their information here. I love this skin. Look at that face. The yeah. face? Yeah, at the end of the Tech 9. Oh, Just yeah. It's like a Doom. Oh, you can't see it on the It's like a really. Doom face. Sorry, I'm in game. Oh, I'm locked in too. <laughs> that was the loudest chicken I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, a couple clucks in mid. A little so. jump back spotting going on from Zipex. Just making sure that uh, he doesn't die. Flashbang's enough to scare him back. Glaive's gonna rotate over. Again, Glaive basically like the utility belt for the B bomb site, seeing as he plays with this ump so regularly. You were talking about Ziwu doing this with the MP9, and we saw it pretty consistently. Yeah, yeah. I think definitely just favoring utility number one. And yeah. then if the gun's good enough here on Inferno, yeah, sometimes it's really not about the gun that you have. It's like the amount of times that you can buy on CD side, which makes a huge difference. So sometimes one SMG is not too, too bad here. Well, they're set up in the 2-3, so Na'Vi, you know, they got what they wanted here. This could be a decent situation. They throw a player inside of the site. Magisk, he's going to pop up from Graveyard. Device shutting it down with the AWP, but there's players up close. Magisk lending a helping hand to take that second kill. Device just Cyclops all around the bomb site. Electronics out of time. He needs to die. Oh, was that after? after? Oh, it I was. I think it was, yeah. Yep, 800 bucks left on Electronic. Wow, they really took too long. Holy crap. And they didn't do, didn't do a very convincing job of finding those entry kills. Puttering to a halt. That was the face of a man with $800 in his bank account. That's t Yeah, right? That's tough. That's not not very fun. Not a fun situation. Then you've got to ask someone for a drop. And you'll just, you'll take anything at this point. Hoping Good to wait from time out there. Really using that smoke inside of the stairs to his advantage on the last kills. Well, it was a decent setup. Of course, if, if uh, Navi had tried to jump in a pit, that was one thing. But, you know, Magisk is, is, is the first guy to try to kill in that situation. Either way, everybody in solidarity will save alongside Electronic. Oof, could this be the Astralis comeback into this game? That's the question. I mean, I don't doubt their CT side, and as long as they can continue to shut down Simple and Electronic, you know, Boomich, he has not been able to perform much since they took him off of the sandbags on Banana. He's still at 13 kills. I feel like that's been like maybe one in this second half. Mm. So, Simple's still very much a showstopper in and of himself, but Economy playing against them, Astralis getting away with those two defuses, one by way of 1vx, the other one two survivors. Yeah, the entering on that round did not look very convincing either, so signs are... Device. Not exactly positive at the moment. Laying down the law. Magisk, final kill is his, and we are all tied up, folks. 11 rounds each. Four in a row for Astralis. They're about to be on fire if they can keep this up. Yeah, this is... The only goal here is to not be... To not try not to tilt, right? To get to a position where you realize there's enough chances to buy. You're on even footing, even though you had a pretty big lead. You've got a buy going in. Uh, let's, uh, keep it, let's keep it level-headed. There's still, I think he just had, a, there was a small misstep on that, that one round trying to entry into the site. But some of the rotations they're getting out of Astralis are quite good. So, I think some of this early round stuff that's happening for Na'Vi is a pretty decent situation. It's not everybody that can get Astralis off of B and top mid at the same time. They've got a very heavy stack towards brackets, which is kind of interesting. We've seen Na'Vi go for top brackets a lot of the time. 4A1B in this spot. But I think it, it makes sense based on what we've seen from Navi. A lot of top bracket control. Civic's gonna be nice and close and personal. 
Got one playing anti-flash at all times, of course. There's the flash for him. Zipex able to get back in control. He has an assist thanks to Dupree. And, well, there it is, a double up. Bit walks right into the AK of Dupree, who, oh, I thought was going to just lay lead through smoke, but decides not to. So for the time being, Navi's still two versus four. Simple barely alive, however, with that bomb. And Dupree happy to stand in the open as long as that smoke's still there. Almost catches Simple, but falls back regardless. This is a game plan victory here for Astralis. They catch him out on this default. They'll have to take this one on the chin. Unfortunately, it does leave their economy in a pretty precarious position. They won't have much money next round. The loss bonus is starting to come up a bit, right, Connor? Maxed. We're all maxed out. Okay, so that's something. We'll see if that means a buy. They do have between, you know, they, they do got a few hundred dollars each on some of their players. So if they save these guns, almost certainly see a buy in here for the next round. They can forego, uh, they can forego a loss bonus here. It's worth it with the AK and some utility left over. Not a terrible situation here for Navi, but yeah, they'll have to take this one on the chin big time. What do you make of this late walkout from Bit? Watch. Oh, it just comes out for the trade. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Doesn't know that they're up there. Were they just shooting at an apparition on Arch side? Yeah, I don't know. They had been fooled. Bit discombobulated. Maybe the communication had been misconstrued. Astralis, they're on fire. And full strength. By one. Full strength, yeah. And when they didn't have much to work with, they weren't fighting as aggressively. But now you can see they're starting to really turn it on and doing some damage here on Banana. However, Perfecto will answer back. That's very important. But uh, in a duel, a duel down to the bottom of mid. And Device instantly evens up. Uh, but still. After everything is said and done, we don't have much here for, for Navi to show for their struggles. Boomich is low, Perfecto is, Perfecto is low, Astralis still have top banana control. Couple lasers honed in on that half wall as well. I like this double position. Yeah. Zipix just going to uh, go ahead and hide, make himself as small as possible, jump over the wall. Ooh, it's all Dupree! Four kills as they attempt their peaks, and he shuts it down. Wow, quiet death there for Navi at the top of Banana, trying to turn the corner on the half wall. It goes from zero to 100 real quick as Dupree lights it up with the spray. There's a very important pick. And, um, yeah, because all these players are so low, they capitalize off the damage they've done earlier. We see not even assists coming in because it was some of Dupree's own HEs. That's a powerful round to win. That puts Astralis in a very strong position here in this game. Things really looked uh, shaky for Astralis at the start. Device feeling powerful after taking Simple's head off last round down mid. Far more aggressive stance coming out of Astralis with their utility this time. Perfecto kind of gets scared back down to the base of it. And then just as quickly as they had hit Banana, they immediately retreat. They've left Magisk at the top side and moved everybody else over towards A. They are perfectly calling out this apartment's hit. So many players in position. Device watching short, Dupree up on those graveyard stairs, staring into the wall. Ooh. Hmm. Curious spot for Device to get into. Well, yeah. He's got so much support here is the issue for Navi. Now, sometimes late on, they just come back with one player, just shoot this guy off the half wall. Magisk is doing his walking Zipix impression, and now he'll start to fall off. Oh, different, though. He'll actually go over towards Sandbag and call a rotation. Oh, device? Uh, yeah. Player he, just slipped by. He's getting curious. It depends how Electronic's holding this. Oh, he'll get caught off guard completely. Yep, Electronic slips into the timing. Dupree, they don't know about him. Zipix tries to dive into the bomb site. Dupree going to go ahead and reveal his position. Has two sets of eyes now Waiting trained on him. 20 seconds left over. We've got Zipex in sight dead for free. And then follow-up damage coming out for Navi. He peeks a bit early there. Electronic wins the round, basically. Opening kill on the Opera, and that's the site. So, well, they find it. Coming up lane. Electronic's kind of aggressive lurk here in the mid-round. Off the, off the hay bales to take the vice out. 
device was looking through that gap between the wall oh, and the he, hay bales. He was and holding then, it forever. Yeah, and then he just walks out I as wonder, electronic though, slips through. Does he see electronic in front of the hay bales there if he's if he's holding? I think electronic does come into his vision a bit, but yeah. A game of millimeters and milliseconds. Definitely. Two survivors for Astralis. Four up for Navi. Round. Now brings them within one. All right. CTs are perfectly, perfectly set to buy. Sure. I just, I didn't realize how much money these guys had left over. Like eleven thousand dollars before they purchase. They've had to clean. Yeah, five alive, four alive, four alive in the last three rounds. It's been so easy. That's the real scary part. I feel like this isn't going to shake Astralis very much at all. All right. Let's see if it's an anomaly or whether Navi can keep these rounds rolling. I think Bit may be a bit nervous, not doing too hot. Yeah, nine and twenty-one. Utility damage is very strong on both teams as well. You love to see it. Pretty insane that your first official is versus Astralis, like your hottest rival ever <laughs> of your entire org's history. Like, Poor guy. <laughs> he looks at his boss like, are you serious? Flash comes out. Magisk. Nice. First kill. Device able to lock it in with the op. And then it's on Electronic and Simple, still stuck with inside of the apartments. Third player's Perfecto back by mid. Mm. That could not have gone any worse for Navi. They did, they, I mean, they tried. They tried to smash their way out, but they were met with total resistance. Yeah, and they're not even in a position to follow up at all. Those two players die. No one's there to get the immediate refrag if possible. You know, the heroic two pieces try to take advantage of the fact that at least someone's crosshair is displaced. No, they're just a bit too separated. And this just leaves Astralis in such a powerful spot. Oof. Very undignified save if that's what it's going to come to. But with three people still alive, you'd think maybe there's a hope. b site is definitely the way. Yep. They can up. get in. I mean, 25 seconds. One molly, one flash. It's electronic and simple on the forefront. Perfecto coming to join them oh, eventually. Are they going for it? No. Just underhand the flash to logs and concedes. You can see the indecision there a little bit. They yep. thought about it. There was definitely a hope, but they, you know. They've got a lot to lose, and they have just enough money to rebuy if all three players stand. So this is a very important save. Even though it gives Astralis that 14th, even though simple and electronic, those two clear hard carries are still up and fighting. They've got to let this one slip through the fingertips. Astralis right back to their winning ways. A one-round anomaly as the apartment's push is denied. Yeah, and there's no one else to come out here off of that push. They don't get the kills on halls, and, and no one's blind. Was Device even blind up there? I don't think Maybe so. Maybe he was. I'm not sure. Well, Device was back on library. Oh, okay. Whoever was uh, up on the halls. Magisk just chilling. We're going to run it back one more time. This is Device's shot. So the question is, was he blind? Uh, he just comes out after. Yeah. No, oh, Magis just turns from the flash. The teammate, okay. Insight. Someone's blind behind default. Thank you, production. The flashes were definitely okay. That's just going to happen sometimes. You can't put full trust in the flashes. Although uh, I believe the smoke that pops up in Device. I'm just kind of surprised that nobody... Uh, they don't... Yeah, they don't commit out through lane with the split. They yeah. don't have anyone jump out hay bales. They just try to run it down halls, or run it on balcony. And they didn't wait for the smoke that would have cancelled the vice. Yeah, sometimes they... Play around with timing? Some, yeah, sometimes you don't want to, like, you don't wait for the, everything to fall in place, so that's okay. You saw Astralis did the exact same thing, actually. Sure. But yeah, no, it's definitely a consideration if they knew where a device was. There's some, uh... Tidbits of disjointedness. We call them Timbits in Canada. <laughs> Donut holes in America. Donut holes of our information. All right, 14 to 12, and they spent their money. A Galil, enough nades to win around. You don't need all the nades in the world. Whatever you can find. But this really does feel like a Navi's last chance to prove yep. that they're the better team here. So, how will they approach it? Device crack spotting with his op. A smoke grenade that bounces beyond, and Device just gives up that initial angle. It's Dupree putting some shots through smoke, I believe, and that opens up Device to walk right back in. Magisk's flash. I mean, if he didn't have that shot, 
without it. It definitely helped. Magisk inside of the pit, yet to be challenged. Now he is face full of Boomich. Dupree's able to slide inside of the site. He waits 35 seconds. Device finds the headshot into bit, but then overextends into simple. Smoke grenade fades soon enough, and then Dupree could be exposed. Very much playing with time. Molotov arrives, and Perfecto trades, but Glaive, he's got that kill right back. Simple's gonna sprint in for the bomb. No regard for those counter-terrorists who definitely could have peaked him. And now he's got them sectioned off, but a missed shot draws Glaive into the scope. Simple, he's able to keep himself on a swivel. Zipex, ice in his veins never peaks until Simple drops Glaive. And you could see Simple wanting it so damn bad, but it is Astralis with a 15th round. They were the most annoying possible in that 2v1. That couldn't have been harder. And um, Simple misses a difficult shot that sometimes he would hit. Here is just the easy first kill as Electronic comes through with a lurk. We don't know what the round would have ha what would happen with the round apart from that. And here's a situation where they're all sitting behind a wall in the smoke, but they don't have Moto smoked off. And then they don't have a way to isolate the player in the site. And then when the smoke comes up, their attention is turned to the right side. Dupree standing there on left. There's so many kills that go unaccounted for. Not enough space being created. Not enough ferociousness. If you ask me, I feel like there's something missing here from these execs. But credit to Astralis, they hold it off and it comes close. Down to the one-on-one -on -one situation. But Astralis here in touching distance now. They could trip over the finish line. Three rounds to go for Navi just to get to OT, and they're all but broke, aren't they? Just, well, well, the max loss, at least they can put together. They'll be all right. A reasonable, oh, they've actually got stuff. Oh, they got more than stuff. They've got uh, three AKs, full nades, and an AWP. They got all them goodies. Color me blind. Electronic will be tasked with the Galil. Oh, it's a very low util game. Util damage game outside of uh, Boomich. Oh, there's some to bring it back, bring the stat back a little bit here for Astralis. Yep. It's Obviously not... cost Boomich half his health. Oh, device! Oh, the man was mid-air! Yeah. Let him touch the ground. Boomich hits the ground like a bag of rocks. Now we're already working with an Astralis man advantage, but a nice shot from Electronic. Catching Magisk out on Bicycle. A position he tends to play. It's just great Galil accuracy, if you ask me. CT's gonna think about getting aggressive here. Gonna play up into the brackets. It's Perfecto up front. Two CTs here, locked into the gunfight. Glaive trying to turn himself around. Simple missed shot, and Glaive almost jumps back into the site, but he can't quite get away. Device hot on the heels of the T's who plant bomb default. Device almost able to find Simple, but he jumps into the site, and he is working alongside Bid, who has unarguably struggled in this first map of the series. Simple, though, he's going to deliver a kill. Simple using this space, leaving Bit to clutch if needed. It's Zipix, bottom fragger of the other side, to try and come into the one versus two. Simple's posted on this position, and he slides right by. Bit able to give cover Navi with a 13th round. Oh, small thing, but a, a beautiful outplay there by Simple to go up off the bike, onto the uh, on, off the scooter, into the graveyard for the peak over on Device. Whoa, that's a wicked shot from Device there in the beginning of the round. But they bring this back for V5. Getting some entries. They even shut down the Lurk from Electronic once again on the Wrath and Arch. And here's the beautiful kill from Simple. That really wins the round. So they find something, a moment of brilliance, that actually results in a round being won. All four tack timeouts called for Astralis. As they'll stand to talk about things, it seems like we've got Navi pretty adamant, pretty stubborn about wanting to get into the A site via lane. Despite how many times Electronic has died over on the archway, they're still finding a way in. Of course, money is still decently healthy here for Astralis, maybe because of all those UMP buys from Glaive. But now this game can start to become more real for Navi. They're working with just enough time. Shots are being hit. Bit has gotten a couple of good kills in these past couple of rounds.
Now they're talking shop. How do we win this round? Two of the last 10 rounds for Navi, ever since they won those three T rounds to start. Both pistols and two 3 0 beginnings to each half for Navi, yet they're wow. still trailing by two. Astralis have been more consistent. Perfecto on the forefront of the banana hit with both Dupree and Zipex on site. They've got a third set of hands to help. If they decide to throw Glade through smoke, but a perfect flashbang from Bit. Oh. Boomich, big double kill. And Electronic, he's going to try to cross over into the site, leaving Glaive to make a decision here. Oh, call it a day. No? Wait. <gasps> They're going to stop that? That comes close. They can't even get the oh, frag. Yeah. Electronic, no one shoots back at Glaive. He'll fall away. But the CTs, they haven't made a decision quite yet. Or no, they're just they're just going to go and save, even though it's... Uh, 3v3, Glaive was in a pretty decent position, but I guess because now we're going to round 30, they want to make sure they have the money. There's incentive to save. Okay, well now it's a very real real game. They got uh, that double entry from Boomich. Hard. That second kill was crazy. Very hard job, yet he delivers. I mean, the first player looks simple enough. Dupree was completely blind. Totally blind. He was whiter than Casper the Ghost. Round 30. Let's check it out. I think he was inside fire as well for the second kill. Oof. Under pressure from the ump. Inside fire. If I'm... No, okay. Just the shots. The fire of his mind. The fire of the circumstances. Oh, I like that. Okay. Very nice. There's poetry there. Round number 30. Okay. Now we're in business. Starting to believe a little bit. Individuals coming online. Boomich. Looking to go positive at this point. Struggled to get a few kills here in the second half. Did pretty well to get the kills he did in the first. Uh, strong. Smells strong potential for OT. The 3B setup. It, it seemed like the correct play to begin the round. This Navi moved fast into it. But all it took is one little boomich to dismantle it, take it apart completely. Zipex moving close up to the half wall. Now we're going to get a flash peek involved here. Yeah, we do have one set up for this half wall. As soon as the smoke comes up, they're looking for a timing. But perfecto. He's definitely got his eyes in the skies. Goes for it, sees nothing. Perfecto, able to dive back behind it. Arch is very much compromised, oh, but they're walking right into device. Every day, uh, every single day of the year, Electronic gets killed walking into Archway. A couple incendiaries exchanged. Perfecto sniffing out this B site. Met by smoke. Navi start to rock back. 30 seconds to make the difference. Either Astralis, they pick up their map pick after a spree of CT rounds and an attempt at the very end from Navi, or we go to OT with Nuke on the docket after this. Molly on the dirt. Zipex lays down the hurt into Perfecto, and Glaive, well, he's just gonna run right in from Coffin, sees the final two Ts. Device spam shot, simple, saving the day. It's him and Bit, and no. Device finds up now it's bit in the clutch. He has had a struggle of a first map. He's recovered a little bit towards the end of this, but now a big ask in a one versus three. Magisk over on Banana, instant headshot. No further damage versus bit. And he's gonna hone in on these last two players, but Device finds his face and Astralis find map one. Wow, that's how they close after all of that. Bit looks so sharp in those last moments. I thought maybe there was a chance, but then Device, he gets the spam shot off through the smoke on Simple. Making it look easy, follows up with the headshot as well to close, slides right in to what was a good attempt from Bit. He had sectioned off the players, he wasn't worried about his